my beautiful friends, how are you doing? It's Mimi here today and today I really want to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects which is frizzy hair. I personally have struggled with frizzy hair my whole life and I know how upsetting and doubting it can be because when I was younger I didn't know what was wrong with my hair and I didn't know what to do to my hair to make it normal. I had a lot of friends who had beautiful silky straight hair and I just thought something is terribly wrong with me. And then when I got older and I would go traveling anytime I was in humid conditions even if I straightened my hair my hair would just get poofy and freezy and again I was like I don't know what to do what is going on so you know through years of trial and error research and trying different products and different things with my hair I've learned how to deal with this crazy mane and how to tame my frizzes so today I'll be sharing it in this video so if you're interested then keep on watching before I talk about how to tame frizzy hair I want to just explain you know what makes hair frizzy so you understand and you no longer feel guilty for having frizzy and curly hair Hair. If you look at a structure just of any hair strand, what it's really made out of primarily is lipids, which is oils and fats, water, and protein. That's why it's really important to actually eat all of those things to have healthy, shiny, and good hair. Now, why does hair get frizzy? If your hair is naturally curly or wavy, which for example mine is, it's not really curly or wavy, it's kind of in between and can't make up its mind. So if your hair is curly or wavy, then it's naturally dry. Naturally dry hair is prone to frizzy hair. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's say you have dry hair and you go outside and it's humid. What happens to your hair? So your hair is dry, the air is humid and it has a lot of moisture in it. So your hair is like, I want to have a drink. So it like sucks out the moisture you know, from the air and what happens to your hair that you just blow dry it or straight it goes back to being frizzy, poofy and natural. Like you didn't do anything to it. That's what really happens to the hair when we're in humid conditions and so that's what causes frizzy hair. Many hair experts say that blow drying, using hot tools, really creates a lot of frizz in the hair. From personal experience, you know, my hair used to be just as frizzy when I was 10 and I had virgin untouched hair. No blow drying, no straightening, no curling. It's just as frizzy now that I've been using a lot of hot tools. It didn't really affect my hair, so I can't really say for other people, but I will say that if you do chemical straightening, then that will definitely create more frizz in your hair. Or if you bleach your hair, now why would that happen? Because bleaching or chem chemically straightening your hair, you know, makes the hair more dry. It's sucks out more moisture from the hair so naturally your hair is gonna be more frizzy. I personally had a Brazilian blowout keratin treatment, one of those when it just came out maybe three and a half years ago and I was like oh my god finally I don't have to have frizzy hair anymore because what that does is like smooths out your hair but I would never recommend it because it totally dried out my hair. Yes it made it straight so when I washed my hair it was kind of straight it wasn't wavy but it wasn't like perfectly straight either but it really in the long run it really kind of dried out my hair more and you know once the chemical treatment came out of my hair it became more frizzy and more dry so I wouldn't recommend it I even made a video about it when we just started our channel <laughs> and a few months later when I saw what it did to my hair I had to take it down because I definitely didn't want other girls to go through that again and I also miss my curly hair so the only thing is just learning how to treat the frizz and that I will explain in a sec okay so what to do and what not to do one thing that you can do <laughs> if you have curly and wavy hair don't ever ever brush it when your hair is dry what is that gonna do is just gonna create a frizzy mess. What I do usually is when I come out of the shower, I towel dry my hair very gently. And then when my hair is damp, I just start to brush it slowly from the bottom of my hair and then slowly moving up. And then, you know, I'll just start blow drying my hair with a round brush that is really important because the round brush really smooths the cuticles and makes the hair look smooth and shiny and takes out the frizz. Another really important thing I want to tell you is stop feeding your hair alcohol. <laughs> I mean it. If you look at most of your products, just pick up the bottle. I mean, this is a lip gloss, but pick up the bottle and look at the back and look if it has alcohol. Most drugstore products will have alcohol because it's really cheap for them to put it and they just put it in everything, in most hair products. So make sure that you don't use alcohol. Why? Because alcohol is over drying and it's just gonna damage your hair so much and create even more frizzy hair. Now my two favorite products that I can't leave without and that actually work for smoothing out my frizzy hair is well, one thing is I use it when I finish blow drying my hair. I take my argan oil and I just dab a little bit, you know, just a, a little bit on my hands and then I rub my hands against themselves and then I'll just spread it evenly throughout all my hair and I'll finish it by running my hair through my bangs and through the back of my hair. Now if at this point I still have some frizzies here on top of my head I'll take a little bit of hair wax and this is miracle truly just a teeny tiny bit and I'm gonna go close to the mirror and I'm gonna look at these hairs and I'm gonna grab them with my fingers 
and just smooth them out. What hair wax does, it just weighs down the frizzy hair and you will have completely nothing. It's gonna be perfectly smooth on top of your head. That's my favorite, favorite trick of all time. When I go traveling, no matter what I do, if I blow dry my hair, I come out of the room, I go to a restaurant or I go out, in a matter of hour or two, I can just feel it. My hair is going back. <laughs> you know, it's sucking up that moisture and it's going back to naturally frizzy, wavy hair. I usually have my argan oil and the hair wax handy with me because what I do is just, I would do the same thing that I do after the blow dry. I'll take a little bit of the oil, run my fingers through the hair, a little bit of the hair wax, add it, and then if it just became wavy, at least it looks nice and pretty and no longer frizzy. Now, if you're ever stuck in a hair emergency and you're out and you don't have these products, one thing you can do is just go grab some water, you know, just wet your hands and then go through your hair with your wet hands and that's really gonna smooth out the frizzies at least for the time being. So this is how I tame my frizzy hair and I can officially say I'm happy with my hair now and I've accepted it. Because you know, if the hair is wavy and curly and I do like the fact that it's wavy and curly because it gives me a variety of different hairstyles I can do with it, then it comes with a price and that's the frizzy hair. So I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you deal with your frizzy hair if you experience frizzy hair. I'd love to hear from you and I'm sure other people would love to hear from you as well. Make sure to like this video down below if you liked it and share it with your friends who have frizzy hair. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!